Someone who was initially considered too much of a maverick for TV was the most notorious masked wrestler of them all. There are wrestlers who adopt a persona and there are wrestlers who live it. Kendo Nagasaki is a self-styled enigma. This man appeared from nowhere in November 1964 with this incredible costume, kendo outfit, and to back all, all of this up, outstanding wrestling skills and strength. Most of it landing on his second, outside the ring there, didn't look too happy. An eight five-minute round contest. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this winner. Kendo Nagasaki, 16 stone seven. Versus Bill Turner, the Scots boy from Musselburgh near Edinburgh at also 16 stone 7, so identical weights. Ken Lazenby, the referee. Not too much problem with identification here. Nagasaki, of course, the one with his famous mask. Still Taylor versus Nagasaki. Five minutes, five minutes. 20 minutes to go. Two falls, two submissions, two knockouts, two disqualifications. To decide the winners here. <laughs> Great find to Nagasaki going for a submission on the fourth place bar. Beautifully done. Very neat wrestling there by Nagasaki. And all perfectly legal that move. Giving him the equalizer in round five. A great Mike Marino, the one and only Mike Marino is the man to train. This Wayne Bridges, cross press, Nagasaki, and he's got it. There's the equalizing ball. Bridges so weakened. Crutch hold, body slam. Can't quite tag his man. Backdrop by Nagasaki, follow up, cross press and trouble here for Brookside. There it is. Outside the ring, right under the apron, and not a good landing on the back there as he caught the. And if it continues at this pace, anything could happen. A straight finger jab, yes, accurate to the throat, and perfectly legal. But that is not perfectly legal, and certainly that isn't on the middle rope. Flying tackle and Marino right out, badly out to the ring. Oh yeah, yeah, I hope he didn't get his neck on the apron. Crowd anxiously saying, no, Marino's okay, he's back in time. Can't hear the referee count, but he's back in time, both of them. Another flying tackle to Nagasaki. Marino again trying to hold his balance. Get Nagasaki over, but can't do it. Out goes Marino a second time into the ringside series. But it's, it's an unfair move that got him there, or is it? No, I'm afraid Marino won't get back in time. 
It's just a question of whether that was a fair move that got him there. The hair this time, Nagasaki. And an excellent posting there by him. But he attacked too early, says referee Max Ward, and therefore a, a severe warning, a reprimand. And a public warning for that attack on the ropes. And with that public warning to Kendo Nagasaki, he throws Roberts again, this time legally, and Roberts out on our table. Double out from the top, a suplex all over the top, like Nagasaki, one of his special moves. And a second public warning at the end of the round. Two in, one round, to Nagasaki, on the bell. A second public warning to Nagasaki. Have a look at that. There, let's see the Nagasaki eyes now. I see the second would just move over a little. There's something very unusual about those eyes. I've never seen them look like that before. If only you turn this way. And away, there he is. The Kamikaze Crash, his own special move. The atomic headshot all won't be allowed here at Sheffield. Unfortunately, he wouldn't turn towards the camera there. Maybe a chance later. John Friend is still in Nagasaki's corner. He hasn't gone back to the dressing room where he's supposed to be. There he is, standing right by the corner post there. Gonna help his man back in the ring. His opponent this time, because he thinks his partner's got an advantage here. This is a Nagasaki special all the way over the top. Ooh. And that looks like Sands might be the end for him now. Yes, he's not going to make it. So He's on the tag, gets in, and there's the back shot. Trouble for Bridges here. This is a Nagasaki special. And the follow up has press. Trouble for Bridges here. That is it. He did a very quick count there, but it counts. And that's it. Fair posting follow up, too. And it's a kamikaze crash coming. There it is. Oh, that could finish him. That could finish Bronson completely in this part. I doubt if he'll ever get up from that. There's two minutes to go in this fourth round, but he won't need it. Boy says, Dr. Axio, you'll go out of the ring. Oh, yes, caught him on the... Ooh, caught him as he was coming past there for a body check. Kincaid trying a body check, and a bad cut on Kincaid's head. That forehead really sliced there by the foot, and Kincaid in trouble. Now the kamikaze crash, there it is. The kamikaze crash with his head bleeding, and I don't think Kincaid will get up for this one. And all over the place, Kincaid now with an unfortunate man. After getting that first fall in the third, goes out by a knockout in the fourth. And the poster. And a follow up at a kamikaze crash position if he wants it. He's going for it. There it is. All the way over. And how Nagasaki doesn't break his neck, but he tries that. But Stewart in real trouble from it. Nine, eight, nine. That looks like it. What a pity. Stewart doing well until that. But he was severely weakened there by Nagasaki. Nagasaki starting to take over. Doing so well at the start. A couple of minutes left, round two. And a spin in a, a poster over the toe. Very neat. 
Typical Nagasaki move and Bill Turner, I'm afraid, might not move up from that one. Nine. And he runs. That's it. So it's an knockout in round two. Once again, the unfortunate Bill Turner unable to show us his full potential in just one and a half rounds. Arthur Green, RMC, to announce it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Kamikaze Crush in three minutes and 20 seconds of the second round. The winner, Nagasaki, and still undefeated. He's got it. <laughs> Little more illegal use of the ropes here. If Roberts is not careful, he'll, he'll get uh, disqualified. He hasn't got any more public warnings to go. And the mask almost off. Nagasaki trying to cover his face in case he comes up over the nose. And the Roberts turning on the referee there. Crowd coming to ringside, hoping to see that mask off. And Roberts going out now. How well has he landed? Very unusual to see Kendo Nagasaki in a position, this position. And it's Kendo clean out of the ring, onto our tail. Here he is, right with us here. And back in the ring in time. No damage done out here, fortunately. We escaped that. And Big Daddy now trying to take the mask off, but he'll never do it. That he's got some tape, he's trying to pull it up, but he won't get it past the nose. That's where Bobby Howes once did it as far as that, but he'd never get it past the nose. And the lift, and a possible submission left here by this enormous man from Halifax. Now Nagasaki, but still the mask only up as far as the top of the mouth, but a nice backhanded chop to follow up illegal. Oh no, legal. He allows it, he allows it. The referee allowed it, I think. And Nagasaki crawling round over our table to get back into the ring or attempted to take the mask off. G generally, when anybody tries to take this mask off, he comes up to his nose only, but not further. And Nagasaki pretty weakened. And it looks very like it might be coming off, or a little bit more off than usual anyway this afternoon. Nagasaki, it's off! Nagasaki's mask off! There he is now, we've seen him for the first time. An extraordinary fate. What an extraordinary hairstyle. What's happening in front there? That's what he looks like. Kendo Nagasaki, for the first time ever, has been demasked, to my knowledge. Uh, but he's going in for the kill anyway on a folding press, cross press. And he gets the winner in round four, but his mask is gone and he doesn't like it one bit. What that tattoo mark on his head, I don't know, and his shaven hair. That really is amazing. No wonder he wears a mask. Yes, back on it goes very quickly. Don't think Nagasaki's going to like this too much. It's half off. 
Yes, it's off. And there he is, Nagasaki, as we haven't seen him before. Kendo Nagasaki with the red eyes, the shaven head, except for the ponytail at the back. Oh, and he's using his Nagasaki, using his powers now to turn on his opponent. Brook, force Brookside to turn on his opponent, Steve Regal. Regal cannot understand what is happening here. Well, he's, he's got these hypnotic powers, and he got Brookside to turn against his own, own man in the corner there. That is a brand new one. That is a first. Regal in trouble now, of course, because his own partner surprised him. Now he's released him from that little... I guess that's the third score. So in 19 minutes, 15 seconds, Nagasaki has got the knockout this time, making a two to one win for the Nagasaki team, despite the fact that he hadn't got Barrett with it. Ladies and gentlemen, 19 and a quarter minutes. It's a win to the team out of the red corner by two to one. The Rock and Roll Express who's left the ring and Kendo Nagasaki. Hey, referee, that man's just done something to me. And all these people saw it. Yes, he did. He did a hypnotize. I knew what I was doing. He's done a post hypnotic suggestion. He compelled me. He compelled me to do that. You shouldn't try and meddle with the mysterious or the macabre. You shouldn't meddle with the unknown. I've warned you, and I've warned every other wrestler. There's an awful lot more to Nagasaki than meets his eye. Well, uh, Rob Brooks. And so after 15 years behind the mask and many wrestlers attempts to reveal his face, Kendo Nagasaki was to be unveiled. The ceremony required Nagasaki's manager, George Gillette, to throw salt over the wrestler. And when that was finished, Kendo was officially unmasked. To the stunned audience at Wolverhampton and to the millions watching on television. <laughs>